Hi boys and girls, and welcome to a wonderful brand new episode of the Trudy Light Chat Show. It's been a little while, which has had nothing at all to do with that misunderstanding involving the robot llama sex dolls. How was I to know that I should have registered for VAT? Literally trillions of you have been sending me messages to say how miserable, vile and depressing your life is without me. And I've heard about the viral campaign to get my show on the BBC. That's a thought. Why don't you start a campaign of your own? But we've only got five minutes, you know, so it's time to introduce my guest. Oh, and in keeping with the times, we're using video conferencing technology. Uh, sorry. Madame Grigina, world-famous international celebrity clairvoyant and astrologist. Welcome to the Trudy Light Chat Show. Thank you, Trudy. I always knew we would meet each other. You did? How? I'm a clairvoyant. It was written in the stars. Wow, you're good. This is going to go well, I can foresee it. Ah, you have the gift, Trudy. The gift? Oh, you sent me a present. How kind. No, I meant the gift of clairvoyance. That's not really a gift, is it? More of a swind... Hang on. That means you haven't got me a present at all, have you? But we must get on. We've only got five minutes, you know. Now, we're both internationally world famous in our fields, so why don't we compare celebrity clients? Ah, Trudy, I guarantee my clients absolute discretion. Oh, quite right. So do I. I was only saying the same thing to Gwyneth last week. Actually, I think she's a bit flaky. Is she one of yours? I couldn't possibly comment. Hmm. Then let's try something. See into her future. Her birthday's on September the 27th. Which year? She has a birthday every year, silly. No, I mean, in which year was she born? Oh, I see. <laughs> it says here, 1972. But looking at her, I'd say, wind that back a few years. I see a continuing exploration of her inner self and stretching her personal boundaries Yes, to... yes, that's all well and good. But is she going to make any money out of her vagina candles? I've got a lot of old fluorescent light bulbs knocking about and I was just thinking... I know nothing of such materialistic pursuits. Oh, no, neither do I. But this astrology caper, how do you do it? You mean, what is my process? If you like. I offer natal... Synastic, transit, and progression readings. Let's not get bogged down in the science. Oh, hang on. There isn't any, is there? <laughs> Go on. Then, based on the exact minute of a person's birth, I charge... But what if the midwife gets it wrong? The time of birth. There are many pedants who would cast darkness in the arena of light. Eh? Is that one of Gwyneth's sayings? Another one of hers that I quite like is, When I pass a flowering zucchini plant in the garden, my heart skips a beat. Next time you see her, tell her I know a good cardiologist who owes me a favour. As I was saying, Trudy, I chart the astrological progression for a natal chart for my... Patience? No, not patience, Trudy. I do not like that word. What do you call them, then? Victims? Are you sceptical about my profession? Not at all. I'm open-minded. The fact that astrology flies in the face of everything that's rational and logical doesn't bother me at all. Yes, quite right. Rationalism and logic have their limits. I prefer to rely on wisdom that's been passed down from generation to generation since the dawn of time. Ancient wisdom. You mean like Buddhism? Or Sudoku. But let me ask you, all this Covid stuff, it must have affected your work. Me, I was all set to do panto again this year after my triumph in Snow White. My wicked queen was the talk of Shepton Mallet. It's the dwarves I feel sorry for. The rule of six was particularly harsh on them and they're finding it hard to put food on the table. Well, the higher tables anyway. 
But on the bright side, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is now the most popular eight character password in the world, you know. But back to you, Madame Grigina. Now, with science proving its worth, I presume demand for your services has declined. On the contrary, many more people are looking for answers that science can't provide. Actually, Trudy, I took the liberty of preparing your personal natal chart. You did? I did. As a Gemini, you are a seeker after truth, learning and information. Well, that's true. I read Heat magazine every week to see what the celebs are up to. You're restless and changeable. Your element is air, so you like nothing better than making social connections. Incredible. This describes me exactly. The only thing is, I'm Scorpio. Scorpio? No, no, no. I think the midwife must have got it wrong, the date of your birth. Oh, are we out of time? No, that's the charlatan alarm. As you can tell, we've got it on a very low setting. But I think we've all learned something today, especially you, Madame Grigina. Anyone can make a mistake, and I'm sure your YouTube channel is nearly as good as mine. But you really mustn't tell people you have a gift for them and then turn up empty-handed. Thanks for watching the show, and remember, keep it light!